What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we finally got our first look at the first expansion coming for Destiny 2 called Curse of Osiris. So we got our first reveal trailer for Curse of Osiris and it was pretty epic. I really like the look of Osiris. We finally get to see what he looks like for the very first time. His armor looks pretty cool so I hope we can acquire some cool looking armor that looks like what he's wearing in the trailer. Uh, we got a first glimpse look of a lot of different stuff. I also got some screenshots that I'm going to show throughout the video of the first expansion as well. So let's get straight into it. We get to see Osiris for the very first time and the story is going to take us to Mercury. So we're going to find Osiris in this expansion and we get to explore Mercury in the process. We're going to see the Infinite Forest which is a location on Mercury as well. So excited to learn more about that. We got a new social space which is the Lighthouse from Destiny 1. So if you play Destiny Destiny 1 a lighthouse was a social space in there as well however you only could go there if you went flawless in trial so not everyone can experience the lighthouse in a destiny 2 because it's going to be a public social space and if you're a new player you get to see it for the first time as well we're going to get new story missions new strikes new free roam activities as well as new raid content so pretty interesting stuff in terms of the new raid content i'm not sure if it's going to be a new raid completely or it's going to add on to the existing raid and it's going to open up a lot more different things within the first raid of the Leviathan. So I'm not sure overall. I'm hoping for a brand new raid. It seems like it might be since it should be based on Vex and the Leviathan is still Cabal based. But I can also see an expansion to the first raid because the Leviathan is a pretty a big location in itself. So we'll see what new raid content means as we lead up to uh, the release of Curse of Osiris. We also got a new world quest to complete and more. So pretty exciting stuff. We we also got a glimpse at some new things to come. We also saw a new selfie emote and many more things in the exclusive PvP footage for the Curse of Osiris expansion. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But also we got some returning exotics. So we got Jade Rabbit is returning. We got the Telesto we saw in some footage of that as well. So pretty exciting. We're getting some returning exotics. We got some Osiris theme weapons as well. So I'm really excited to try and earn some of these vex theme weapons some of these osiris theme gear and stuff and then there's also going to be a new solar trace rifle similar to the cold heart except a solar version so pretty excited for that as well I really do like the Cold Heart. I thought it was going to be an interesting addition to the weapons of Destiny. And it's pretty good so far. It's been highly popular, especially in the raid during the first few weeks of the game. So excited for a new Trace Rifle as well. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. When we get some more news and stuff on this expansion, I'll be sure to cover it. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you guys for watching once again. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!